Creating holes, drill point area and termination area. I'm going to go up, create a hole. I'm going to place a linear hole. I'm going to pick a face. And right now I have it's drilled all the way through. And if I come over here to termination and say through all, that means I'm drilling a hole all the way through the whole object. If I come up and I say I want a distance, I the drill hole does not have to go through the entire object. So I can say, you know, I only want it to go down 0.25. So it's going in just 0.25 or 0.50 or whatever it may be. So you can see that this is how deep it is. Now when I don't go all the way through, I have to determine the drill point. So I'm only going a half inch deep. And if I, at the end of that half inch, I want it to be a flat surface, I choose this option. If I want the drill bit to have a taper to it, because most drill bits have a taper. So the common way of doing this is drilling it down and putting it in at 118 degrees. That means we're just using a regular drill bit, and at the end, it's got the little tip of the drill bit making an indentation. Over here, we have to actually go in and do a, a second operation to flatten it out. So this is determining our, how the bottom of the drill hole is looking, the drill point. So if we go through all, we don't have to choose it because it's there is no bottom of the drill uh, hole. It's gone all the way through. We could also go to two, and two we can select another surface in which it will draw to. So typically this is like a work plane or some other surface that we want to choose um, to determine you know, which way that is. And we actually get a flip on that too, so we can flip that back and forth. So most commonly is that by default we're going through all and we're drilling through, it doesn't matter. But and next, we're typically going with a distance. We set how deep we want this to go to, and then we choose our drill point. And you know, if we're using a regular drill bit, it's going to have a little, uh, a little bevel on our drill bit, and it's going to end up like this normally. Otherwise, we have to use a different operation if we want it to have a flat bottom for our drill point.